Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your November mid-month tarot reading. This is a reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. We are going to jump right into it today, but I do want to welcome anyone who's new here first and let you all know that I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading. Next week could be something totally different. I've also been adding in Wednesday readings. I'm going to do a special reading in November and one in December just for fun. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this reading, it will do something to the YouTube algorithm so people will see this reading. But then it will also tell YouTube when those Wednesday readings come out to show those to you so you know they're up. All right, what advice do you have for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. All right, you might have seen the seven of wands pop out to join us. Okay, I'm going to lay out the tarot, then we're going to pull a Denise Lynn, Sacred Destiny Oracle card. It reminds me of harvest season, these cards do. All right, current situation, Three of Pentacles, Immediate Influence, Six of Swords. In your subconscious, you have the Eight of Swords, you have the Eight of Cups in the distant past, you have the Ten of Swords in the more recent past. You have the Four of Wands coming towards you. Oh, we had two cards, oh my God. We had the Seven and Eight of Wands come out together. That's incredible. Okay. You're represented by the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I just can't get over that. The person or situation you're attracting is the Six of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Cups as uh, your hopes and fears, and you've got the King of Cups and the outcome. We're going to take one card because we had two come out. Guess who came out? The Queen to came out to be with her King. You've got a match, but this is fantastic. That blows me away. 78 cards, and we had two cards come out that are in order. I can't architect this stuff. I can't make this stuff up. <clears throat> all right and we'll, I'll explain what it means in a minute you're like that's great and everything but I don't read cards why are you so excited okay you I like this you've got purification okay sunflowers are a symbol of finding a match and so I do feel like if there's been something around you some toxicity something you need to let go this is where you do it with this let go to receive one of the greatest paradoxes in the universe, but I also feel like too, you're gonna move on to a sit from a situation that just was not developing. If it wasn't flourishing, things are going to move forward. You might have a little bit of a course correction, but I do feel like you're gonna move on to something great here. So with this, we have no major arcana, do we? No, we don't, that's surprising. But I feel like it's still a powerful reading anyway. You have fire, earth, water, air, all the elements. So I mentioned before the seven and eight came out together. That seven of wands though, even though there might be a little bit of an adjustment, that seven of wands is an energy that is driven to success. But I feel like too, it's all, they're also saying that you're going to work smarter, not harder. And so if there's been something that does need to be adjusted, I feel like you're going to see that and be able to make the adjustment, be able to pivot, as we used to say quite a bit around here. Because with the Eight of Wands, things are going to move forward easily. That Eight of Wands takes you to the next level. It's communication, but it's also, too, because it is that fire energy. It's expansion. So it's making things happen, and it just feels effortless. So I feel like you're going to get that place where you have, like, that one final push. Now, if it's been a job or even selling a house, because you have moving here, you have travel and moving here, I do feel like, too, if you've been working hard and you've got a vacation planned, it's going to be wonderful. You have a marriage here as well, and you do have true love. You have a partner who comes in, who brings in balance, who brings in, a, I feel like, a very centered kind of energy. But with the Queen of Cups, get ready, because I do feel like the information that comes in Maybe a bit confidential. So you may get word about something or you may be on the inside that just gives you a little bit of an edge. So if it's an interview and you know somebody who works there, I feel like they may give you a little bit of information like, I know this is one of the questions or, and I know I'm not trying to encourage and I'm just giving you what I'm getting. 
or like this is an area that we really need. So you can do some research and go in there and knock it out of the park. And if it is something to do with the house, I still feel like this, I, they keep saying, I, I shouldn't be telling you this. They keep saying that, like, well, I shouldn't be telling you this. I don't know why I'm telling you this. It's that kind of a thing. So if it's something with a house too, there may be some kind of information you get about what kind of an offer you need to make. Or there's something with it that I feel like is still private information. Okay, so with the Queen of Cups, trust your intuition with that one. Because she's that kind of energy too. With that Queen of Cups where, again, people will want to confide in you, but then you got to believe what they say. We don't want to negate that information and not listen to it and not act in accordance with it. But I do want to point this out. you got a lot of nice energy here. Um, <clears throat> but don't we really like it when these two come in? So whatever it is that you're asking about, it is a match. You have a nice match here, okay, with the Four of Wands, one of the fairy tale cards. But you also have this beautiful Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, one of the lottery tickets. So I do feel like if it is something with housing, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. And you're going to get just the right amount of assistance because I feel like you have an edge. It's like you have a little edge on the competition. Now, in terms of love, though, I mentioned you got a partner for life here. And it's somebody, too, who wants to be an equal, who wants to be somebody that you can confide in and some somewhat of a somebody to do the heavy lifting of life alongside of you. So you're not going it alone at all. Um, so we'll get back to these two in a minute here, but let's talk about this current situation, Virgo. So you have something here that indicates you're moving on, but you're moving on to a much better teamwork. You're getting the right people involved. So if you've been at an impasse and you're like, I really feel the seven of wands, I feel like I'm just pushing against and I'm having to really force manifest, I do feel like that's going to shift so that the things that you, the things, the people, places, the resources that you need are all here. Now that Three of Cups, to, or pardon me, Three of Pentacles, you might see you. Three of Pentacles energy also indicates having respect, getting accolades. So if it is a job that you're going to move on into, I feel like it's going to be a great fit. And so if it has been difficult, it's been a difficult journey, you're, you're going to be leaving that behind you. You've done the hard work already. And now it's almost like you can sit on your laurels, rest upon your laurels a bit and enjoy this. Enjoy the ride here. So this damn eight of swords, I hate seeing this in your subconscious. Now, for some of you, though, it actually is important because it can be helpful. The tarot is your best friend who tells you the truth. And there might be too much thinking. And, it, and also, too, there may be too much thinking about what other people think or what other people's, you know, thoughts of what you should do. Okay, you've got all these swords back here. This whole group, this is a peanut gallery who loves to offer you their opinions. And I don't know why. I just saw the judges from the Muppets. Remember those two old guys? And they're really hilarious. Like, ha, 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 ha. And like adding in all their opinions, but it's like it's just noise. And then you have these two swords up here, and these are your two closest friends. Could be your partner. It could be some other one person who's very close to you. But this front sword is your higher self, okay? And this is the one you really need to be aligned with. Because with this, too, if there's too much you know, the con concentration on other people and what they're going to think. It's like too much into the outcome business and it just keeps you paralyzed. It's that committee meeting of the mind, the one that never finds a solution. It's the committee that never goes anywhere. So we got to work on this. Meditation would be a nice um, antidote to this. And so, and too, you may also too, get into some other spiritual things. And even maybe if there's some kind of bio, I hear biochemistry, if it has something to do with health practices too, if you've been having trouble with sleep or other types of things in terms of your physical body, that's part of the interference. I do feel like you're going to move forward. So with this eight of cups energy, we said you're going to move forward, didn't we? So with this one, it's uh, the hero's journey. It's moving on to higher ground. And so with this Eight of Cups, I do feel like you're going to be in your life's purpose here. Whatever it is, you may find that you just have this nagging thing that you have to do it. You feel like you must do it. And so I feel like you have everything you need. If it is a relationship too, because you have a bit of a challenge here with this Ten of Swords. I do feel like something too, and I hope you can follow me with this. I do feel like you have a deep desire but along the way, you may have a Ten of Swords encounter, okay? So if it's a relationship that ends, but you've got a deep desire to change careers or to move 
and you know you could not do that if that relationship continued or if it's a job that you lost or it's something you have to let go of because you know you cannot move forward if it continues. That's why that Ten of Swords shows up, okay? There's an ending, but it's endings are new beginnings in the tarot. And so you've got a new cycle here. And I do feel like it's for your best and highest good. So if you've had something that's brought you a lot of sorrow, because I do get a feeling of, of pain here. And I, I was going to say suffering, but we know that pain happens, suffering's optional. So if you feel like, no, I have been suffering, I feel like they're saying it's time to move forward here. So with the Ten of Swords, you definitely have an ending, but thank God these cards are in this half of the reading. That's exactly where we want them because these are in the past. So if you're if you're here today because you say, yeah, I've been really going through a difficult period and I don't know what to do, well, they're saying it's time to move forward. This Four of Wands are like the four legs of a table, but these Four of Wands also um, represent... The 1111, okay, that 1111 synchronicity, new beginnings for you. And so they leave a walled off city. And why that's important is because you're leaving this place of being stuck, of feeling like you just cannot move forward, of stagnation. And so I feel like they're trying to tell you that as you move forward, you're going to have that new job offer. And for somebody, you are going to be given insider information. Take it. I mean, it's not illegal. It's nothing like at least the way I'm getting it, it doesn't seem like it's anything. It's like, you know, it might be a, a little bit of an edge, but hey, you know, we oftentimes, I mean, there's plenty of people that pay consultants and things um, to help them with their resume and things like that. So either way with this, so it's a yes. This is the kind of card that is a yes. So if you're asking yes or no question, the answer is yes here. And so for somebody here though, in terms of relationships, boy, do you have a great match. And I do feel like it's going to move fast with this one and that Eight of Wands, those arrows of love coming straight for you. So with the Four of Wands here, you have a partner here and you're very compatible. Like I said before, I feel like this is somebody too who actually would offer help. This is not somebody who needs to be directed and told and given lists and things like you're not managing this person. They actually can read situations and read and even maybe intuitively know what you need and be able to offer it. It really is a wonderful partnership. So with this Two of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to be rather busy and you are going to be moving forward, but it's your ship's coming in. This is too a card of wish fulfillment, believe it or not, with that gigantic agnostic symbol. I almost said agnostic. I don't know why, um, <clears throat> unless that pertains to you. But this is a symbol of infinite possibility. So you have many new opportunities coming in. You are going to have a choice. And I do feel like the choice that you make, for some of you, you might have a little bit of leverage if you do get inside information, if it's about a job or a housing situation. But I feel like you're going to be kind of cautious with that because you're not looking to really create a problem for yourself. But it is, it's giddiness, okay? He's juggling these and dancing. He's not, he's not forlorn over it. So... With the Six of Pentacles, you do have balance coming in. You got nice aspects for money here. But I feel like overall, the Six of Pentacles represents partnerships and stability in your life. Feeling good about the people around you, all right? And so the Nine of Cups says you are going to be sitting pretty. He's grinning. He's got that S-H-I-T eating grin because he knows he's made it, okay? So with the Nine of Cups here, this is a card of attainment. And so I do feel like in terms of relationships, you again, you're going to feel like this is somebody that I've been looking for. This is my partner for life. And in terms of a, a job or a house, I get it that way too. So the King of Cups, this King of Water is success. It's an indication of fulfillment of that really great life. And I do feel like too, there's something about this that's a bit soft. Okay, so in terms of your attitude and disposition to things, I feel like if somebody goes low, you're going to go high with this one and you're not going to regret it. All right, so good things are coming in there. But let's hear from the Whispers of Love. Then we'll hear from the Fortune Oracle. What else does the Whispers, what does, I was going to say, does the Whispers of Love need to tell Perko? All right, whatever. Maybe I'm channeling somebody that talks like that relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So I'm telling you, somebody here, you're walking away from something, but it's better for you. That that also aligns with the purification card, letting go of negativity. Yeah. 
You've got the world. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. So I definitely feel like you're going to be standing on the precipice of change. You're going to be letting go of things that have been challenging and restrictive for you. And you're moving into a place that's much more open and free. Good things are on the way for you, Virgo. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.